even being supreme personality of Godhead himself, Brijendra Nandan, and how he questions Raya Ramananda and hears. Hmm? Very patient. Question, and he is answering. Though all these things are coming from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is inspiring him. But who is he speaking? Hmm? Who is solving the questions? Oh, Raya Ramananda. Hmm? Anyone comes to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Oh, he, he tells that, I don't know how to talk. As a teenager, girls, and making them bath, decorating them everywhere. Oh, they were naked, but even decorating them and telling the poses how to dance in front of Jagannath. And the modes. So, he thought that he is not a good devotee. He is with naked girls, teenagers, and he is decorating them in a lonely place. No one is there. I cannot believe in on his character. So he must be a loose character. And then he retired by Mahaprabhu told the head who heard. Oh, he was engaged in something, and so I listened to that. Oh, you must go again and tell that, Oh, uh, Gauchandra has sent me to hear some Harikatha to you. And then he again went. Naramanam told, Oh, he did pranam to that Brahmin. It may be that he has taken the lotus dust of that Brahmin Nishim but now he was so much a regard for that Harayaramananda. Oh. He told that, Oh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has sent me to hear something. Oh, Mahaprabhu has sent me. Oh, I must help you. Then what? Harikatha you want to hear? Oh, the same thing that you have told to. Oh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The same thing I want. And then, you know, knew that this person, this Brahmin and devotee, had no idea of anything, A, B, C, D. So he began to question himself and answering also, both. A pure devotee can ask any question. Otherwise, those who don't know A, B, C, D of Bhakti Mal, they cannot ask any pure question. And without questioning, oh, they cannot hear, they cannot know anything. So, tatviddhi pranipatena pariparasnena shivaya, three things should be there. Then they will get something, instruction. Otherwise not. Without seva, without unconditional surrender, and without oh, very humble questions, any tattvavit cannot sprinkle their mercy to you. First be like this. I know everything. I am Guru. So I am question, making questions only to know that if you, you know or not. Or oh, this is not so. <laughs> then he went and he told that, Oh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And then he was questioning and answering both. And then he heard all these things. Now, first he gave his lotus dust to him. And now he felt flat rolling on the earth. Oh Prabhu, now you have no. Please be merciful. And having so much glorification in his heart, he returned to Mahaprabhu and he also, Oh, really you have then sprinkle your mercy that you have sent there. Otherwise, I have not known all these things. So himself, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is hearing. And you, you think that, oh, we have now become perfect. And Guru, no need of reading Rupa Goswami, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti, Siddhan, Sarsati, Bhakti, Vinod Thakur. Oh, we have done and served so. Now we are really Guru. Then, 
you are not guru, you are what? Kang guru. Kang guru of where? Australian Kang guru. Yes, so the way I heard, I hear that oh, my among my oh senior disciples, they don't attend any classes because they know all everything. But I know that they don't know anything they receive. All say. They must attend all. Without attending a high association, you cannot know anything. So give up this false thing and attend crosses without any hesitation. And here, not only he, you know Raghunath Das Goswami, whole his life was engaged in hearing. She told from Jadunanda Narchar, from Haridas Thakur, from Sachinandan Gaudhari, again Nityananda Prabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, again to Sarup Dhamoda, Raya Ramanam, eh, Sarup Dhamoda, and then Kodada, and all Vaishnavas there in the Council of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at Gambhira. And after that he took shelter in the Lord of Sita, Rupa and Shana. So we should try to be like that. That is why we see that by hearing high class of association, we should try to fix our goal of life. If no goal of life, then everything is useless. And that is why in Chaitanya Chaitanya first, Sri Krishna Goswami, hearing from Rupa Raghunath and all that, he wanted to fix our goal, especially in third, first, Adi Lila, third and fourth, Chaitanya Chaitanya. He has definitely, strongly, he has established that what goal is supermost, especially in Rayaramanan Sambhad, he has described so many objects and so many processes, and he has given, given so many definitions of it. But we don't read to accept all these things. Very deeply we don't want to go inside. And that is why we are always weak and weak. If anyone hears all these things from a bona fide devotee, then he will very easily oh, fix his goal of life. Goal of his what? Sathanta. Otherwise not. So, in first ch chapter, third and fourth, oh, why, what, was, uh, what were the causes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to come? What were the causes that Krishna wanted to come to this world with his all associates, taking the mode, inter intensive mode of Radhika and golden white chicken. And in this thing, oh, he is explaining all this. What he has heard from where? Guru, Raghunath especially, he heard. He heard from them, oh, the idea, mood of Sarup Damoda, that is Lalita, Vishakha, Raira Mananda. And then he has told something in third and fourth chapter. What was that cause? Can you? In brief. Hmm? Fourth reason. In brief. You can take. 
If you want to oh, keep all these things in your heart, then attend attentively here only. Because you have left everything and come here for seven days here from different parts. So you should take something. Gananda Salak Taksur Anmulitam Dena Tasmai Sri Kurave Namaha Srila Gurudev has ordered me to repeat something for I have heard from Sri Chaitanya Tarkamrita especially here in the Adi Lila chapter 3 and 4 Srila Krishna Saraj Goswami is explains very deeply the reason for the appearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Our Acharyas have explained very clearly that Mahaprabhu, he has two reasons for uh, appearing in this world. His uh, primary reasons and his secondary reasons. So first of all, the primary reason. This also has two parts. Primary, primary. And the secondary, primary reason. So first of all, Srila Swarup Dhammada Goswami here has explained. Sri Radhaya Pranaya Mahima Kitrisho Vainayava Begin from beginning, from bottom. Yada Yada Hi Dharmasya I'm explaining, not from starting from the top, starting from the bottom. Masantapanatya, Sambhavami Yuge Yuge. Whenever the religion is on the decline and irreligion is rising up, at that time Krishna said, I appear myself. I destroy the, the demons and the influence in this world and I protect the devotees and I establish real religious principles. So, when the age of Kali came, then Krishna Himself, He appeared as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And one of His reasons for coming was this, to establish Yuga Dharma. What is the Yuga Dharma? Harinam Sankirtan. All should chant Krishna's name. In this age of Kali, there is no other religious process but the chanting of the holy names. So this reason, this is very good. Also, before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, Sri Advaita Charya, Krishna's own expansion and coming to this world, and he was thinking, oh, all are engaged in so many activities against devotional service. I want Krishna himself to come, and he will establish religious principles in this world. So Advaita Charya, he was worshipping his Shalagram Shila with Tulsi leaves and Ganga Jal, and with tears and crying very loudly and by his calls he inspired Krishna. Krishna was surely going to come in his age of Kali but at which time he would come, at which moment, it was not fixed. But the call of Advaita Charya inspired him, I will come now and appear in Navadvip. So to establish Yuga Dharma and also by the call of Advaita Charya, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was coming to this world. But he has some very special reasons. So he is, Krishna himself is saying, Prema rasa nirjas karite ashadan, raga marga bhakti loke karite pacharan. I have come, I want to come to this world. Why? Raga marga bhakti loke karite pacharan. I want to give a type of bhakti which was not given before. What is that? Raga nuga bhakti. Many incarnations appeared in this world. Matsya, Varaha, Karma, Nishinga, Kalki, Parisharam, Ramachandra, Barahade, Bamande. So many have appeared in this world. And also so many Acharyas came. Madhva Acharya, Ramanuja Acharya, Nimbaditya, Vishnu Swami. But though they taught something about Bhakti, they taught Vaidhi Bhakti, devotional service which is performed according to regulative principles inspired by the discipline of Shastra. But Krishna, he is not so much pleased by this bhakti. He can be pleased, but this type of bhakti cannot control him. So Krishna, 
He wanted to spread and establish and preach within this world Raganuga Bhakti. That means devotional service, following the moods of the residents of Vrindavan, who have natural family relationship with Krishna, which is free from all awe and reverence. So he never Mahapur, came. He never came to establish Bhakti Bhakti. Never. Because so many previous Acharyas have done this. Especially for what he came. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give this Ragamar. Why? He's saying, Sakale Jagati Kori More Vidi Bhakti, Vidi Bhakti, Braja Bhava Paiti Nahi Shakti. All in this world are following Vaidhi Bhakti. But this doesn't have the power to awaken within the heart the love of the residents of Vrindavan. Aishwarya Gyaneti Sab, Jagatami Shrit. Aishwara Shutila Prema Nahimora Preet. He's saying that those who think that I am God and I am the Supreme Lord and they serve me with a mood of awe and reverence, that love is cannot fully satisfy me or control me. I like the love of the Vrindavasis. My friends, they never think that I am God. They think I am equal to them. And what to speak of that? My mother thinks, oh, she is more than me. She thinks if I don't feed my son my breast milk, or then he will become weak and skinny. And more than that, the gopis, they can chastise Krishna and call him a cheetah and a liar and so many things. And he enjoys this so much. This is very sweet music to his ears. So Krishna was thinking, I want to, the, the jivas of this world, they will have a chance to serve me with this very high class of love. And among the different moods, Mahaprabhu himself is saying, Yuga Dharma Pravataimu, Nama Sankirtan. I will establish Yuga Dharma, Nama Sankirtan. But something more than this. Chari Bhava Bhakti Diya Nachamu Bhuvan. I want to give the moods of Vrindavan. Shasya Sakya Vasari and Madhurja. No one else can do this. Yuga Dharma Pravatana Hoya Angsa Hoite. Ami Bina Nohi Ani Braja Premadite. My answers, my incarnations, they can establish Yuga Dharma. Advaita Charya can come and establish Yuga Dharma. But no one can give Braja Prem. This is my prerogative. Only I am giving this. So Mahapu came to give this. And among this Braja Prem, especially through Rupa Goswami part, Mahapu wanted to give something that was never ever given before. So Rupa Goswami himself revealed in his Vidarga Madhav Natak, Anapita Charim Chirat, Kronaya Vatir Nahakalo, Samar Paitum, Unnat Ujwala Sam Sobhakti Sriyam, Hari Purata Sundara Duty, Kadamba Sandi Pitaha, Sadari Daya Kandare, Spratuva Satinandana. Sri Rupa Goswami is praying. May that son of Satimata, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, appear in the innermost chambers of your heart. He is Hari, the Supreme Lord Himself, but He appeared in His age of Kali with the sentiments and complexion of Srimati Radharani, to give what was never given before in this day of Lord Brahma, in this Kalpa, for 8 billion, 460 million years, 640 million years. It was never given before during this time. And what is that? Samar Paitum, Unnat Ujwala Rasa Muswabhakti Sriyam. Unnat Ujwala Rasa. This is the mood of the gopis of Vrindavan. Parakya Rasa Bhakti. How they love Krishna without any mood of own reverence, thinking not that Krishna is my husband, thinking he is my paramo lover. And among them, Shrimati Radharani is the highest. Unnat Ujwala Rasam Swabhakti. Here, Swabhakti, the bhakti of Krishna's own nearest and dearest Shrimati Radharani. So, Mahapu has not come to give this. He came to give Unnat Ujwala Rasam Swabhakti Sriyam. The beauty of the mood of Srimati Radhika. Here, Sri Ramananda Rai, he explains to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mahabhaktim Tamani Radhara Sarupa Krishna Prema Kalpalata Sakigana Hoi Tarapala Pushpapata Radharani is like a creeper that fulfills all the desires of Krishna. And that creeper is so beautiful, especially when he has many leaves and flowers, and or small flowers, manjaris. When the wind will blow, then the leaves and manjaris, they will all dance. 
So Radharani is like a creeper, and her sakhi is there like the leaves. And manjuris, or small flowers, they are her maid servants. So these manjuris, they are the beauty of the creeper of Shimati Radharani. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came himself, and he wanted to give a special type of love. That is, the mood of the maid servants of Shimati Radharani, Rupa Manjari, Rati Manjari, and others. Even in their dreams, they have no desire at all to meet independently with Krishna. They only want to serve Radharani completely and make arrangements for her to meet with Krishna. It may be that Lalita and Vishaka, they are superior to the Manjaris. They are like their gurus even, giving them instructions and orders. So they are senior, according to Padma Dyada, according to etiquette of their position. Lalita and Vishaka, they are superior. But Raghunath Dasa Swami especially is praying. Sakyaya Tema Manamostu Namostu Nityam. Dasyaya Tema Marasostu Rasostu Satyam. I give my pranam to the position of Lalita and Vishaka. They are so high, but I don't want to be like them. I only want to be the Dasya of Srimati Radharani. Even though by Padma Jada, that means by the etiquette of their position they are superior. By Seva Vaishistya, that means the speciality of the service opportunities. The Mandaris are more fortunate. They have more chance to be very close to Radharani and serve in so many intimate ways. So Mahaprabhu, he wanted to give this thing. So, this is another reason for Mahaprabhu's appearance. Very special and important reason. And all the Acharyas coming in the line of Srila Rupa Goswami part. They are in this mood and they are distributing this mood in the service of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And of all the reasons for Mahaprabhu's appearance, the first and prominent and primary reason of all was described by Swarup Damoda. Sri Radaya Paniya Mahima Kiddisho Vaniyava Sajonye Nadbhuta Madurima Kiddisho Vamadiya so kyam chasya madanu bhava nitva kibisham veti lobha tad bhava dya samijani sachi garabha sindho harindhu He is saying that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared from the womb of Satimata like the moon appearing from the ocean. Why? Because he had a very intense greed to understand three things. Sri Radhaya Pranaya Mahima What is the glory of Radharani's love? It is so powerful. Krishna himself ad has admitted. Radhikara Prema Guru Ami Shishanath Ami Sadhanana Nitte Nataya Udbhat The love of Radharani is so powerful. It is my Guru. And it causes me to dance in various novel ways all the time. So what is the glory of Radharani's love? And Sojore Yenat Bhutama Durima Krishna was thinking oh, Radharani is so qualified. She attracts my mind. Yet, she seems to be more attracted to me than I am attracted to her. There's something about me that I don't understand that she realizes, that she is tasting. E prema dwari nitya radhika akali amara madhuri amrita ashode sokali Radharani through her love, she tastes my sweetness completely. Only she can do it by her love. So if I can be absorbed in the mood of Radharani, only then will I be able to see myself through her, her eyes and realize what are the sweetnesses in me. My Venu Maduri, the sweetness of my fruit, fruit plane. My Rupa Maduri, the sweetness of my form. My Prema Maduri, of my love. And my Lila Maduri, of my pastimes. So this was the uh, second of the threefold reasons which are primary for his appearance. And the third one, Krishna was thinking. In this world, those who are rishis and sages like Bharat Muni, they have written something about the love between male and female. And they have said both enjoy equally in their affairs. But he doesn't know my Vrindavan. Radharani, she experiences thousand, thousand times more happiness than me. What happiness does she experience? I have agreed for this. So the prominent reason of all is divided into three. Krishna wanted to realize the greatness of Radharani's love. The sweetness in him that only she can taste through her love and the happiness that she feels in their loving relationship. And therefore, he appeared in this world as Satchinandan Kaurahari. I did think, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave some idea that what should be our goal of life. 
गोल ऑफ आवर साधन भजन स्वामी जी लभक्ति वेदन स्वामी महाराज जो प्रभुपा मई शिक्षा गुरु ही केम टू फिलफिल द डिजायर ऑफ चैतन्य महापुरु दिस वे नॉट फॉर एनी थिंग एज यू हैव हर्ड दैट नाम संकीर्तन इज युग धर्म चैतन्य महाप्रभु ने वे काम फॉर दी मनी नाम so you should also know that the mood of chaitanya mahaprabhu oh, he wanted to fulfill the desire of chaitanya so if he is not fulfilling this desire to preach this thing this world to give this thing very thing then how by nagar sankirtan how can he can do so he had not come Hearing this in Mathura, once Holy Spirit became upset, and they told, "Oh, he is minimizing, uh, minimizing our Guru Dev." I told, "Oh, foolish person! Oh, foolish! I'm glorifying that he has not come to do the job of Mahavishnu." to establish yuga dharma what is naam sankirtan or to do dharma pratishtha in that some valley for that he came for the same reason that chaitanya mahaprabhu for the same reason from whom roop goswami has appeared in this world valley for this and what was that oh we have to what to preach rag marga Thus, a guru can give this. Guru Pushan, very easily, he gave it. Rajmar, you should know what is wrong. <coughs> How you can know? If there is no high class of a association, you should know first what is bhakti, what is uttama bhakti. You should know what is. ओ अधमा भक्ति अधमा भक्ति मीन्स मिश्रा भक्ति आरो सिद्धा भक्ति संग सिद्धा भक्ति ओ एम एल गमेटेड भक्ति विथ कॉर्म एंड वी शुड नो ऑल दिस थिंग एंड व्हाट इज कॉल्ड साधन व्हाट इज कॉल्ड साधन वी शुड नो फॉर बिगनेस Oh, Guru, make it. Tell Guru Goswami, tell. Oh, very good, a student. But really, what we are doing? This is not uttama bhakti, or madhyama bhakti, or shuddha bhakti. Even amalgamated. It comes in the uh, in the sani category. category of what? Oh, sun siddha are especially arup siddha. These are not pure bhakti. What is the definition of sadhan? What you? ये तो नो परिसाधन भक्ति गो Activities of kriti by body, mind, and words to develop sivasya uh, bhavasya, the eternal mood situated in the jiva. So activities to, to attain the stage, stage of bhav bhakti by body, mind, and words that is called sadan bhakti. Yo, kundri. 
कृति साध्या भवेश साध्य भाव साधना विधा नित्य सिद्ध से भाव से प्राकट्यम विधि साध्य था The eternal mood, nitya siddha bhav, is eternally perfected, and there is no need to make any endeavors to get that because it's eternally existing. But for the conditioned soul, how he has to awaken that eternally eternal perfected mood in his heart through kriti sadhya by engaging his body, mind, and senses in devotional activities. And when such engagement is uh, tadatmic, means when it becomes one, like when we put an iron rod in fire, and then what happens? After a while, the fire and the iron, they become identical, hot. And the iron rod imbibes the quality of fire, and it can also burn anything. So similarly, although these mundane senses they cannot touch the spiritual, uh, spiritual substance, the transcendental mood. But when under the guidance of Hari Guru and Vaishnavas, the bona fide Vaishnavas, when we practice bhakti, then by their association, these limbs of bhakti which are transcendental, they attain tadatma, the oneness uh, with our senses. And then gradually, by focusing these endeavors to attain the particular mood, in which one wants to serve Krishna, then this is called sadhana bhakti. You. More here and here. And you cannot get up. Don't fear, come here. Always here. <laughs> From beginning, where you at? Where are you? Huh? Why? I will chastise you. <laughs> so, Guru ordered me to explain about sadhan. So, Rudra Sanipad has explained in his book, The Rashamit Sindhu. Kriti sadha bhave sadha bhavasa sadhana vidha nitta siddha sa bhavasa prakattam hridi sadhata. So, we just we have heard from Sri Padaranda Maharaj and Sri Gurudev. We have to fix our goal at first. So, what is our goal and how we can get that goal? We have to know very clearly. In these circumstances, I want to clarify another point that all jivas are, all living entities are eternal servant of Supreme Personality Godhead Krishna. And all of them, in their constitutional form, some kind of servitor mood inside that living entity's heart. Some living entity, in his constitutional form, want to serve Krishna as a servant, some are want to serve Krishna like his friend, some want to serve Krishna like his parent, and some want to serve Krishna like gopis in paramar mood. This is already fixed in our constitutional form. So, Nitya Siddha, that Nitya Siddha means eternal perfect mood is in our soul. So we have to manifest that. How it is possible? We have to fix our goal. I want to achieve mood. Mood means bhav. What kind of bhav? Rati. Bhav means a rati. So if we do sadhan means do some process, how to achieve that bhav or rati? Keeping this goal or keeping this destination in our mind, I must have to attain that goal, that means have to achieve that roti. So fixing our goal, if we do sadhan, if we do any process, how? Kriti sadha with, by the help of our indriya and kriti means very carefully. Sometimes I do today, at 
few days gap, no, have to be continuously and very carefully, then you will be sadhan. If we not fix our goal, that we have to achieve bhav or rati, if we not fix, and we doing Hare Krishna Mahamantra or in Savan Kirtan, then it is not sadhan, it is sadhana bhas, semblance of sadhan. So, we have to fix our goal, then we have to achieve Dharati, and then, under guidance of Bonafide Vaishnav and Bonafide Gurudev, if we proceed, then it will be complete sadhan, otherwise sadhana bhas or anything else. Hare Krishna. Bhantwantar Vakari Vaishnav Vipal, Sri Bhai Vaishnav, Sri Bhai Vaishnav, Sri Bhai Vaishnav, Again, I am again telling something, and something special all are telling. So, I try to realize and understand. If you are not understanding, or again you can call, ask questions. So, you should try to come in Shadha not in false ego, that what I am doing, or it is sufficient. So here Srila Gurudev and Srila Maharaj and other devotees explaining what is sadhan. One, most important is we have to first fix our goal of what we are trying to achieve with that sadhana ego. Sadhya, the word sadhya, means the aim and object. Just like if the Aranya Maharaj, he many times tells when we go to the train station and tell, oh, we want to get a train ticket, first um, the conductor will ask, where do you want to go? But if we don't know where we want to go, we may say, oh, just give me some ticket, I'll figure out later where we want to go. So we cannot actually purchase the ticket this way. We have to know where we want to go. <coughs> so. The aim and object of sadhana is that bhav, that mood that we are trying to achieve. And then the process by which this mood can be obtained, which the turning situate in the soul, is by engaging the external senses, the mind and the body, in the process of, of uh, bhakti, even though the material senses and the mind cannot touch that mood. But, just like iron, when it is put into fire, it eventually takes on the qualities of the fire, becoming also hot and red and burning like the fire. Eventually, under the guidance of Bonafide Guru and pure Vaishnavas, it can turn into Bhava Bhakti. Then it is called Satya. If there is no move, if there is no what object of our sadhana bhakti that I want to achieve her rati. Sadha, first sadhu sangha, anatha nibhati, then nishta, then ruti, then asakti, and then we will reach in this stage of rati. So hearing from Vaishnava. Hearing the glorification of this rati, knowing what is rati, rati of gopis towards Krishna, rati of friends <coughs> to Krishna, rati of father one, Nanda and Yasoda to Krishna. These are sthai bhav. Prominent. Permanent mode. In transcendental realm, bhakti realm. So this should be for whom? Veganas. If there is no object and chanting, remembering, hearing, then all results will be like zero, something like this. So they should know all these things and then they should fix the goal that I want to achieve. But this thing, rati, is transcendental. Our tongue, our mind, 
Our senses cannot touch transcendental mode. You know, never. But anyhow, in the guidance of Shuddha Gurudev, taking initiation in real sense, in real sense, not in what? Formality. Our, our dikha is like formality, not in real sense. We are, we were admitted in that. The child school. But we have not completed the course. But we think that, oh, we have passed. We are in. So we are in class. We should try to know. And then hearing all these things, a tendency will come. That how I can achieve this transcendental rati? Then, by the order, by the teachings of our Gurudev, Shikshadu, Vaishnava, we will engage this, what? Senses. What sense? Material senses. Material sense. Material? Yes. Yeah. But engaging. And always of practicing or serving Gurudev. <coughs> and falling. We are doing for Rati, making goal of this. And then if we will engage all these things, then in what process it come? It will come, O Kripa Ram Prabhu and what? Kundari Thayat. It will come. The transcendental Rati will come. How? Like in iron, of fire, power will come. It comes. And becomes one. Tadatma bhav. And then rati comes. Nitya siddhasya bhavasyam prakatyam rigmasyam. Oh, our mood, our this mood, or oh, is in our constitutional form, any of the four any of the three, especially, hmm? either in Vasala Ras or Friend Ras or Madhya. We have that thing. Now, by practice, first by Shadhan, by these senses, will attain Rati. And when Rati will be achieved, then what, is, what we uh, will be our goal? Prayer will go. And if this goal is there, then it is bhav, bhav sadhan, bhav bhakti. And then today we will go praman and go. Oh, you should arrange any harmonium or any what name? Keyboard. From tomorrow. Now you should. Oh, I want to, first I want to give my blessing and so much uh, my, yeah, thanks to my friend Ramesh Prabhu. I can only for this day, to arrange all this. Right? So, I myself am so much happy that he is serving in so many ways that anyone does not know. So, <laughs> oh. Otherwise, it will be hard. So, hundred percent him and his wife, partner, half partner. First of all, we hope and pray and beg and beseech that His Divine Grace, Srila Narayan Maharaj, will give us a few words tomorrow morning. Please. <laughs> And then after those few words, or many words, we hope, 
His Holiness Aranya Maharaj will then continue speaking. And up, up, up until 10 o'clock. No, no. Oh. Up until 8.30. Breakfast and other things also. 9 o'clock, then there will be breakfast and other things also. And then at 10 o'clock, His Holiness Madhava Maharaj will continue speaking until he wants. <laughs> As long as he wants. And after that, there will be lunchtime. Then, after lunchtime and other things, Srimati, Shavarani, Devi, Dasi, Didi, Prabhu, the senior most disciple of Srila Prabhupada present will amongst us in this assembly, the second senior most, the third most, everyone's favorite Didi will continue speaking from 3, 3.30 o'clock 